Hey, this is Phil from the Greater Toronto Music School bringing you part three of our three-part series on pentatonic scales. Uh, now, if you enjoy what we do, make sure you go hit subscribe, like, comment on the video. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. So we've already talked about, you know, major and minor pentatonic scales and where they're derived from. But uh, this week I want to talk about like, practical application of these scales in a, in a soloing context. And that, that means not just playing one pentatonic scale over a progression. It means maybe switching between them to go with the chords a bit more. So let's just do a basic rundown of what we, uh, you know, of what scales go with what chords here. Um, okay, so we got the minor and the major, right? Um, and you can assume the major goes with the major chord and the minor goes with the minor chord. So the major also would work with anything that contains the the like major triad. So like a dominant chord as well as just a, a regular major triad. So you know, just for uh, for ease right now, we're gonna uh, we're gonna talk in the key of C. So we got like a C major chord right here, right? Um, so the cool thing about these pentatonics is they always contain the chord tones. So when you're learning these, you should be paying attention to where the sweet notes are. And a lot of those, like, they're gonna be the chord tones. Um, so within this, three of those notes are the notes from the C chord. So right there, we just, you know, it's contained perfectly within that that shape. So um, again, that's gonna be starting on the root. One, three, five, one, three, five, one, and then back. So it's great for soloing in a major key. You know, you can play this pentatonic and you you can really target the, the chord tones and you get this, uh, this really nice sound, like if I was to play like a little riff over a C chord. So I'm like kind of targeting the, so I, the, the chord tones, one, three, five, one. And I added in a, a six in there, but um, it, you get the idea where it, it, the, the really sweet notes that you can outline a chord progression, uh, those are the chord tones. So you learn them really well and learn them in both, you know, we did this position up here too. Um, and if you want to go up to... So um, learn your your triads and how, like, how they fit within that pentatonic scale. So that's the major. Let's take a look at the minor for a second. So we're doing A minor. So that is actually a minor seven arpeggio. So we're adding, it's like a four. We could do just the, you know, the three note, the triad version, or we can add in the, the minor seven and make it a minor seven arpeggio. Uh, and then do that in your other position. Um, and these are great things to have in your in your vocabulary for soloing when it comes time to play, you know, like say we're doing like an A minor groove. So I'm just playing, you know, mostly notes from the chord. And those are the notes that they're always gonna sound good. So it's gonna sound good to target them. Um, so, that's like in a nutshell like we, we always want to be thinking about the chords we're playing over and we're taking like a more like holistic approach than just playing one scale over several chords we can change our scale to go with those several chords so um here's an example like uh the blues the like a regular one four five kind of blues so that would be like um again let's do c so we're going to do C for four bars. Then F for two. Back to C. So over 
each chord, we can think of a, uh, we can use a different scale. So we can, you know, over the C chords, we use our C major pentatonic. Over the F chord, we're using an F major pentatonic. Over the C chord again, back to C major pentatonic. And over the G, we can use a G pentatonic. So that's three different scale options right there. Um, and then the really cool thing is we can use the C blues or minor pentatonic over the whole thing and get that really bluesy sound. Um, so it, it's really important that you like take a minute before you start trying to solo over things and really look at the chords you're playing over. What scales go with what chords? And this, like using the pentatonics is a really easy way to do that. Um, you know, that was just one example of, you know, how to play over a blues. You could take another pop, let's take a, another popular progression like a, a one, five, six, four. So one, five, six, four in C again. So we can use our C major pentatonic over that C chord. and then a minor pentatonic and then an F major pentatonic and back to C This kind of gives you a chance to really outline the chords because contained within those pentatonic scales is all of the notes from each chord, right? So over the C chord, I mean, you could, a good way to practice would be, you know, take, just run your scales, you know, go like. So once you get comfortable just running your scales, uh, run them in a way that's not just playing them up and down, you know, do like skipping notes, you know. And then to the, the G. Uh, and then you can do your arpeggios through it. Um, there's so many different ways to practice this and it's, it's really about getting comfortable targeting those chord tones using these pentatonic scales. So um, the, the really great thing is that like over, you know, we'll go back to that, the blues for a second. You know, I said you could use those three pentatonics and the blues scale. And that's where the blues scale is really great because you can get, you're playing like the major sound for a minute and then you switch to like a, so you get, So it gives you the, that's how these guys, when you hear them playing, like, you know, your, your favorite blues players, they're, they're going between major and minor constantly. They're never just like playing. I mean, there's times where they'll, they'll hang on one, you know, harm, like one thing for a little while, but they're always switching around. Um, okay, cool. So I, I think the one thing I want to leave you with this for like, for this lesson is really get to know your triads within the, the pentatonic scales and start uh, learning how to switch between them. So like pick a blues, pick a key, uh, and then run your pentatonics over them. Okay, put on a backing track, whatever you gotta do, um, you know, and just practice playing more mechanically at the beginning, and then you'll get used to like switching, and then you can start using your licks and vocabulary and really start trying to really play a convincing solo. All right, guys. Well, thank you for tuning in. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, this was part three of my series. Make sure if you didn't already check out the first two parts, go check them out. Uh, hit subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff, and tune in next week for another uh, for another lesson.